guys, Ridge Super Bash, and I'm out here for a quick run with my V3 Creighton. Uh, last time I was out here, I had a little issue with my uh, lost power mid-air. I was uh, testing these uh, new M2C Goliath Series Arma 6S towers. Um, just so you guys know, these are actually now available on the website. They've done killer during testing. Um, so, But anyway, back to my ESC. Effectively, I lost power as soon as I hit the ramp and did a, just a gnarly, gnarly roof and tower landing. So. Fortunately, no damage or bendage to uh, either of my towers. Basically, I just stripped out my front body mounts. You'll notice there's like this white kind of goop stuff on there. What I did was when I soldered the cup, it didn't actually seat perfectly flat, um, but I really, it felt like a solid connection and I didn't want to mess with it. So what I've done is I've used this uh, JB weld. Um, I think it's plastic welder and the bonding strength is just like ridiculous. So. Um, it's rated to like 3,000 plus PSI or something. But anyway, it is made for both plastics and metals. Again, it's called Plastic Bonder. It's supposed to be the world's strongest bond. Uh, you'll see here on strength, it's got 37, 3770 PSI. It's set time is only like 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, in any case, we'll see how this goes. Again, this wasn't, this isn't what's holding my cup in place. I, again, I did solder this, but I just, uh, I, I really just wanted to fill in this gap around here because I, unfortunately, in my previous attempts, I had really melted the molding around the connector. Guys, so I've had, uh, people on the channel ask about these little, uh, these little Lexan supports. Uh, basically, this is, I'm not sure on the exact thickness, but this stuff's definitely thicker than an average body. Um, and I just buy it at my hobby shop in sheets. Uh, the sheets started a lot bigger than this, but this is just, you know, the more you use, obviously you're, you're chopping it down. I, I just cut it with a straight edge and a razor. I snap it to the size I want, and then I just round off the corners. But it does really do a great job of basically preventing your body mounts from punching holes through your body. This thing's completely hopped up with Voltage Hobbies and uh, M2C Racing goodies, including the original, uh, I believe the very first Creighton prototype chassis. steering problem. I don't know if you could hear my gears, but unfortunately my Savox 1210 just stripped out. You know, it is what it is, but quite frankly at this point I'd rather, you know, only spend half the money and run a Power HD. Uh, they pretty much have the same exact spec. So anyway, that'll be it for the Creighton today. Um, at least my repair job held fine. My power felt good. My braking felt good. Quick tip on your wire management. In addition to making sure your pack is nice and strapped down, and in my case, I, I always run these uh, the yoga mat in here, so I pretty much have to compress my pack down. But uh, this just kind of takes some of the shock factor away on the hard impacts. But basically, take an extra minute, get some electrical tape, make sure you uh, essentially tape down and secure your balance plug so this thing isn't bouncing around uh, or it doesn't basically break the, the plastic connector piece here. Uh, the other tip, and this is a shout out to Chris Anthony. What's up, bro? Uh, Commander Astig RC. Basically, he just loaded a video recently where he had some wires get chewed up down here. Um, and if you bash long enough, it happens to all of us. But my suggestion was uh, something I've been doing for a while now is essentially, even if you're using the, the plastic uh, wire loop here, you still want to uh, consider doing some like one inch Gorilla Tape and essentially just come all the way up and over and uh, just clean your battery, uh, your tray just a little bit and just tack this sucker down. I found that this essentially keeps me from coming unplugged and just keeps my wires from ever moving around at all. Well, I almost uh, tripped just now, guys. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, guys, that was definitely a pretty hard stack. You'll see 
my chassis, my M2C Goliath chassis is still perfectly straight. I've got a nice little line on here, I'm assuming from the paint off that railing. And I think after I cased on the railing, I ended up uh, kissing the nose into the ground. So front of my chassis still looks perfectly straight. I'll take a broken bumper any day. I'm just not sure T-Bone's gonna warranty that if they see the video. success is just a complete animal again I did really come out here to drive the Creighton uh, but it is what it is I'll uh, get my servo swapped um, this thing's an absolute beast um, aside from casing it up on that railing trying to clear this uh, the container uh, you know really I'm just I'm absolutely amazed guys the chassis is still perfectly straight so huge shout out to Mitch Looper with M2C Racing. Um, this is pretty much the biggest upgrade you can possibly do to these success rigs. So, um, and shout out to him for the new towers. Again, those are available um, at the M2C website now. So.